All right. Last part of the exam. A pendulum has a period of two seconds. What is its length? Let's go to the pendulum formula to start with. So we have t equals 2 pi l g pi. And let's just use g as 10. So t is 2 pi. So 2 seconds is the period. 2 pi. Square root of l over 10. Now we can do a little bit of math. So I'll simplify right here. 2 equals 6.28, because that's 2 times pi, times square root of l over 10. Continuing here, 2 divided by 6.28 equals square root of l over 10. That's going to give me 0 0.318 equals the square root of l over 10. Now we square both sides. That's going to give me 0 0.101 equals L divided by 10. I'll multiply both sides by 10 now. These cancel. And I end up getting a length of 1.01 meters. Now we ask ourselves, what would the period of this pendulum be on the moon if, if the gravity of the moon is 1.6 meters per second squared? So that's T is 2 pi, square root of L over G. So 2 pi, square root of L over G, where L is 1.01, and G is now 1.6. So this is going to be 6.28. Let's take this, so let's take 1.01 and divide it by 1.06, or 1.6. And we take the square root of that, and we end up getting 0 0.79 here. And when we figure that out, our period ends up being 4.99 seconds. Now, if the period, if the pendulum starts on the moon with a height of 0 0.1 meter, what is its potential energy? So Eg equals mg of the moon times h, which is, did I forget our mass? Oh, boo-hoo. I'm so sorry. Uh, you won't be able to do all of that, but I will say this. So we'll have m. g would be 1.6 and h would be 0 0.1. We'll leave the m blank. Unfortunately, we can't do a lot with this, so this is just going to be 0 0.16 times m. And we got to stop there. So number 11, I'll just make a quick note and send that to everybody. But we can get the speed at the bottom of the swing because we can say eg equals ek. So we can actually say this number here, I'll actually use it, I'll say 0 0.16 times m equals 1 half mv squared. Um, we'll get 0 0.32 m equals v squared times m. That cancels. v is the square root of 0 0.32. And so we'll end up getting a speed of 0 0.56 meters per second. So just one small little caveat, skip problem 11 or get as far with it as you can, but we're not going to be able to finish that problem without a mass. So that's the last part of the exam, and I'll upload that to uh, Haiku right now.